We are ready and we are fired up. It is time. The United Sides of Thanksgiving. We are filled this morning with tips and tricks to help you. Get ready for Turkey Day, right, Carson? Where's that Martha Teeny when you need it? Yeah. Back on the screen, you're going to see our QR code. Just scan your phone there. It's going to take you directly to our website where you're going to find all the recipes you're about to see here, rapid style. Okay, let's kick it off with superstar chef Bobby Flay. His Beat Bobby Flay Holiday Throwdown airs tonight on Food Network. Now, he's got some acorn squash with autumn spices, hazelnuts, and a brown butter dressing. Sounds fancy. Tell us about it, Okay, uh, so acorn squash cut into quarters we have uh, some brown sugar some autumn spices you, you know cinnamon nutmeg ginger etc and you don't need a candle because your room is going to smell delicious mm. from all these spices and then what i do is i take a little bit of the um you roast them for about a half an hour and then i take some brown butter some pomegranate molasses mm. some hazelnuts mm. and then we move on to this amazing uh cranberry sauce which really uh, well thank what you, I know about. Bobby. okay bobby thank you this is priyanka nike she's author of the modern tiffin cookbook you've got your special spice Iced cranberry, it already yes, smells this good. This is an Indian inspired cranberry sauce. We have fresh cranberries. To this, we're gonna add some dried red chilies, some clove, some cinnamon, as well as some raw cane sugar, mm. some brown sugar, yeah. and some orange juice. You can also use a little bit of tamarind in this if you'd like. Okay. Cook nice. it until they burst. But the fun thing is, I'm a low waste chef, so we're gonna take our leftover cranberry sauce yes. and we're gonna make a cocktail with it. We have some gin in here, some orange liqueur. That looks we're pretty. gonna give it a shake with some <laughs> mint. And then we're going to pour that right Thank in. Thank you. Oh, yes, Bobby's enjoy. saying yes, please. And we're going to top <laughs> it with a little bit of sparkling okay. water. And then we have our Thanksgiving cocktail mm. that's also sustainable. Yum. I love it, Priyanka. Thank you so Thank much. You. Here's my buddy, How are you? Samuelson. He needs no introduction, but he is from the new Hav and Mar restaurant yes. right here in New York. I Open cannot yesterday? wait to try it. Oh, yesterday. Yes. Okay. I'm very excited. Berberry roasted Yes. Carrots. Tell so me. Berberry is a spice blend that we use in Ethiopia. We use it on everything. We're just going to make it simple. Mm -hmm. Roasted carrots, right? With a little bit of berbera, a little bit of honey, and beautiful citrus. I have some orange right here. I'm just gonna plate it like this. Mm. And you're a chef. Now you cook with all the well, chefs. Marcus. You know, so you know how to plate now. You I know believe, how to plate. Why are you looking I at believe me? at yeah. least six yeah. people here have yeah. at yeah. least tried. We've got yeah. Aisha, high school, Marcus has tried, Bob has tried. Santa, you gotta taste it. This okay, is so delicious. Wait. You can Thank eat you. with your hands. Jump in there. Okay. Get in there. Nice. Mm. Nice. Delicious. Delicious, right? Delicious. Super Thank simple. You. you can make it. Carsey, over to you. Yeah, Thank next you, New Marcus. York Times food writer and author, Dinner in One. Melissa Clark is here with your maple candied sweet potatoes, uh, Melissa. Absolutely, because you need candied sweet potatoes on the Thanksgiving table. Mm -hmm. So the beauty of this is you can do so much of it in advance. So you do your sweet potatoes. You just roast them a couple of days. You can do them a couple of days ahead, a couple hours ahead. Slice them up. Put them in a dish. And then this is the best part. It is Maple syrup, mm. apple cider, tons of butter. Mm, you just delicious. pour it right on top. Nice. You bake it. And, okay, are the marshmallows optional? No. I don't think so. No. Oh, man. Right on right. top. You yeah. can do halfway. As a kid, we would just then, eat that right off the top. I know, right? I mean, that's the best part. Yes. I mean, the sweet potatoes are good. The marshmallows with the burnt stuff mm. on top, that's amazing. But you can make this in advance, too, you said, right? You that's can make good. the whole thing in advance. All right, Siri Daly, you're up next right. from your seriously delicious cookbook. I told you I'd plug it. There it is. <laughs> um, this is a, a family recipe. Yes, this is your mother recipe. Yep. So this is classic mashed potatoes with a twist. I like to use Yukon Gold. Um, just cook them until, you know, you can easily stick a knife through them. And then mash by hand. That's very important. Do mm. not use a mixer or a blender. You're going to end up with glue. Why do you use the mixer at home, then? <laughs> that was one year. <laughs> and then we're going to add um, milk or cream. Not the time to skimp and do 2%. Right, right. Lots and lots of butter. And then you want to add your mom's special ingredient? Yeah. The this gin. Is the gin. Yes. Gin? <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Gin. It says yeah. a lot about my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to mom. Person. God rest Just a fourth cup. It potatoes. makes it luscious okay. and creamy yeah. and delicious. Like and there's a bunch of different toppings you can use. Bacon. Cloud nine potatoes. Yeah. Chef, thank you so much. As a reminder, you can scan that QR code for all five of these recipes. And, of course, we're just getting started.